welcome to my class on paleo botany today we shall learn a fossil genus a fossil group called pentoxylae pentoxylae is a very important group of fossils especially for india because this was discovered in india and studied by indians the fossil was studied by an indian paleo botanist called Birbal Sahani and the fossil was discovered from Rajmal Hills of Bihar you can see Birbal Sahani on the screen also Rajmal Hills so pentoxyle is classified variously by different scientists and on your screen you are seeing the most commonly used classification it is belonging to the group or division called gymnospermae under a, a unique order called pentoxylanes uh, different scientists have given different opinions about this group there are some fundamental features unique to pentoxylae also the group also resembles conifers in many ways cycads in some ways also the members of bendy tails and also one more group of fossil called medullosaceae besides having its own unique features it resembled many other groups of fossil gymnosperms all right and uh, many scientists along with uh, birbal sahani also studied this group uh, two in other names that are important are vishnu mitre and rao so they also have the same opinion as that of birbal sahani that this group is a unique group and play separately as a unique order called pentoxylase so hence it is grouped as a different order altogether called pentoxylase there are different organ genera of pentoxylon all right the stemmed organ genera are pentoxylon and nepanyoxylon and leaf is the pentanyophyllum and pollen bearing structure male is sahania and female reproductive organ is cornopanites the pentoxylon group is unique because of the presence of five vascular bundles most of the cases wherever the fossil that discovered you had five vascular bundles and there are some distinguishing features of pentoxylans they belong to jurassic period all right the exact nature of the plant is not known because the plant was never discovered in an intact form only organ genera were discovered separately and uh, it is thought or it is assumed that the plant may have been a shrub or a small tree small shrub or a small tree it has the uh, short shoots had spirally arranged leaves a uh, terminally located reproductive organs and things like that and the stomata are haplochelic though there is some confusion but haplosteric stomata leaves possess open venation if not closed venation open reticulate kind of venation was found and the stem of pentoxylon resembled the modern day conifer araucaria araucaria is the commonly known uh, christmas tree araucaria the plant resembled araucaria in many ways ovules were sessile there was no stock for the ovules and female reproductive organs are very unique to pentoxyle the image is used as the image for indian postal stamp each each organ was looking like a strawberry strawberry food and about 20 such 20 such uh, ovules were found attached to the receptacle and clusters of such uh, mulberry like fruits were attached to the terminal root regions of the stem all right and even male reproductive organs are also very unique to uh, the group called pentoxyle what you are seeing on screen is the stack mulberry like female reproductive organs the organ genera are pentoxylon sahaniae all right the stem as i told you was a small tree and the maximum diameter of the stem was found to be about 2 cm and always associated with the typical leaf of pentoxylon that is nepanyophyllum and as i mentioned already the stem possessed 
five vascular burnings, unique feature, five vascular burnings were there in this stem. That is the unique feature of pentoxylar. However, in some cases, they also found six vascular bundles. In most of the cases, five vascular bundles were found. That is the unique feature of pentoxylon sahaniae. All right. One more organ genus also was discovered called nipanoxylon guptae. So these two are the two stem genus of pentoxylon. So this is the uh, unique fossil uh, petrified wood of pentoxylon. A transfer section has been taken of the petrified wood. I told you in the previous classes how to take a section of a petrified wood. You can see the five vascular bundles. You are also seeing some more vascular bundles peripheral to it. They are pertaining to leaf traces. The big central five vascular bundles are the actual vascular bundles of the stem. This is the diagram of the portion of the stem. You can see the stem. Each stem has five vascular bundles and you can also see the strap like leaf. The leaf genus is Nipaniophyllum. Nipaniophyllum. Because Nipaniophyllum is discovered from a village called Nipania in Bihar in the Rajmal Hills. All right. Uh, Nipaniophyllum is the leaf and Pentoxylon sahaniae is the stem genus. The primary phloem and primary xylem were present towards the outer and inner sides of the cambium respectively. Sometimes, as I mentioned already, six vascular bundles were also seen. All right? And uh, we had two stem genus, one is pentoxylon, the other one is nipanioxylon. And in both the cases, there were similarities. The medullary rays of the main steel, main steel were uniseriate and they lack ray trachids, also wood parenchyma, also resin canal. So wood parenchyma, resin canals and uh, ray trachids were absent and the overall structure, it resembled Arocaria, the modern day Christmas tree. So that is the stem genus. Uh, we have one more stem genus called Nipanioxylon. All right, apart from Pentoxylon, we also have one more stem genus called Nipanioxylon, discovered from the village called Nipania, and hence the name Nipanioxylon. And the only difference between Nipanioxylon and Pentoxylon is the vascular bundles are slightly larger in Nipanioxylon. Otherwise, the other features are same. The leaf genus of Pentoxylon is Nipanioxylon, Nipanioxylon rawai and it was earlier called Tineopteris. The same uh, genus, organ genus, genus was discovered earlier called Tineopteris. Later it is renamed as Nipanyophyllum rawai. Alright, and uh, they were present on short lateral uh, shoots. Each leaf was simple, petiolate, strap-like, possessed well-defined, well-developed midriff with many parallel lateral veins which are open. Alright, coming to Nipaniophyllum, the leaf genus, it resembles cycas in many ways. One of the features where you can compare it with cycas is the diploxylic condition two separate vascular bundles, centripetal xylem and centrifugal xylem. Same thing is seen in case cycas. Also the stomata, haplochelic stomata are found in both cycas and nipaniophyllum. Alright, the vascular bundles were misarc in both the cases. In cycas also it is misarc, in nipaniophyllum also is misarc. So hence we say, Thank you very much for watching this video on Pentoxylon. We will learn about many more uh, subjects in Paleo Botany and other subjects in Botany also. I also thank all those resources from where I collected the information and prepared this video. Okay. Please watch the video carefully and uh, wherever you have doubt you can pause and watch it again. Learn about these uh, fossils subscribe don't forget to subscribe thank you very much